Hey class, so uh, I just wanted to post a short video discussing uh, briefly adding uh, resistors, capacitors, and inductors in parallel and in series. I don't really give you an uh, example of this in the notes, so I wanted to give you a short little video. Uh, for example, uh, resistors, when they are in series, they add directly. So our equivalent is R1 plus R2, even though they both look like R2. Uh, when they're in parallel, however, they add inversely. So if we have R1 and R2 here, we want to know the equivalent. Our equivalent is, uh, or excuse me, 1 over our equivalent will be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Uh, and this formula is, is best because if we add another resistor, we can just add it on here, R3. And then you just have to rearrange and solve for our equivalent from that equation. Um, the same is true for inductors. Inductors look just like resistors, so it's easy to remember uh, add them uh, just like resistors. The equivalent inductance is L1 plus L2, and the same thing for the resistors. The capacitors, however, are opposite. They add, uh, when they are in series, the equivalent capacitance now is added inversely. So we have to do 1 over C equivalent equals 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Uh, however, when they are now in parallel, they add directly. C equivalent is C1 plus C2. So, uh, a couple things to know. Just remember, inductors and resistors are the same. If they are in series, then they add directly. Parallel, add inversely, and capacitors are just the opposite. And be careful of the formulation. Uh, 1 over C equivalent equals 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Sometimes a simplified version of this, for example, with the resistors, when you add them in uh, uh, parallel, if there were just two of them, a shortcut is, well, our equivalent oops, is equal to R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. This is only true if there's two resistors. This is a simplified version of doing the 1 over R equivalent method. So, be careful. Um, don't try to redo this version if there's more than two resistors. Uh, it's always best just to go back to this and rearrange and solve if you need to. Anyway, I hope that explains a little bit and um, helps out. Thanks.